Matt vs Melon here, how are we all today? Back with another video. We're currently in LA right now, just looking through the map. Sold another property just recently as well, so things are going really well. We're going to focus with Granada Hills. Six property sales in Granada Hills last night as well, and then we're really going to push on this market. Uh, going forward, you can see all the different sales coming in now as well, so it's really going well. And then our Tycoon um, account as well. And then you can just see all these ones coming in. Most of these are in uh, Granada Hills. And this is what I'm going to talk about, like all this time spending, like talking about the economy and stuff and upland and uh, basically about property and how I think it's getting too like pulled into separate ways. That's why Granada Hills is going to do well. And that's why we're earning probably about 14, 15 times more with Granada Hills in this setup than we would from Tycoon. And Tycoon's earning twice, three times as much as upland yield is. So, uh, with Granada Hills, we don't need the yield anymore. We've really built this up into something really strong. The foundation is all there now. There's 94 members on the Discord. So this is kind of snowballing now into something amazing. All the players what have already got properties in Granada Hills are seeing like floor gone up, basically 1,700 up X about now if we actually look on the floor price yes yeah, so this floor was at 9000 upex 5 days ago so 17000 upex worth of value's been added uh, when i looked over granada hills earlier i was looking at the kind of the different prices and stuff like that and over like 750000 upex worth of value's been added to my properties from where the floor was to where the floor is now so uh, what do i mean by that I've got over 450 properties in Granada Hills, so if you times the floor price by each individual property, uh, that floor price is going like, to go up, that's going to add more value to your property, and then there's more reason to buy that property, I'm going to be buying more properties, and especially everybody else what's jumping in right now, the market's absolutely going crazy, we're going to be able to buy another property, we'll actually get this one right now as well, uh, being able to get the floor up to 10865 uh, so we'll search for this one as well. We'll be buying one, two properties every single day in Granada Hills until this floor gets up to 25,000 upex, and then we'll carry on buying and buying and buying, but like we're going to try and target 25,000 upex. I was wanting to push the floor up to 11,000 upex, and I thought it would take us a couple of months, but right now we've just got so many members jumping onto this as well, and it benefits everyone. The players who are jumping right now are getting lots of like kind of support from bigger players in the game, and then those bigger players are able to sell more property as well. 14,188 properties in Granada Hills, so basically there's never going to be more in Granada Hills, uh, so it creates demand as well. There's only a set supply, so when the demand goes up, obviously the price goes up as well and then the properties are selling like a lot of players are selling properties in granada hills i sold six properties last night as well and then it's kind of like a tree i see it the less you like put on for sale the more kind of like the stronger the tree and then like when you put a property on for sale like it'll sell a lot faster as well so the more players will look after this economy now and keep like pushing the floor up so i'll buy like six properties on the secondary market but then i'll also sell six properties you know what i mean to get that profit up but none of my properties are near the floor and um, once the floor gets up to eleven thousand, all i do is go uh, through my properties actually the easiest way is into upx land actually and then when you go into property search uh, you can go Los Angeles, Granada Hills, but you can actually go onto your own properties and then see which properties are in Granada Hills. And then also you can actually uh, raise the floor a little bit easier that way. So uh, we plan to keep pushing the floor up as well. Every single property we sell, we just keep reinvesting back into Granada Hills. And then we've made 80, 78,000 now. This has just gone down a little bit. Um, but yeah, we've basically just made under 80,000 upex in five days by just uh, the yield um, and selling properties in Tycoon. Uh, so this is basically making about 600,000 a year and then with Granada Hills right now we've started selling like two three times as much property you know like these videos more kind of marketing as well and then anything else with yields and stuff like that and also the visits that will all just go back into Granada Hills now as well any kind of sponsorships as well we've got the sponsorships running on this channel as well if you want to get your upland content featured on this YouTube channel you can do just send 10,000 upex over to James UK and then you can get a slot in the middle of these videos to like kind of promote your meta adventure or your racetrack or whatever it is in upland that you like and want to kind of push to a larger audience so get involved with that if you want to as well uh, so yeah basically going so well like Granada Hills if we actually look over here as well so we've got the floor up to 10,865 right now but this is where the magic is so 289,000 I've not added Stockton and Trenton yet but if we actually go over Los Angeles here you can see 
this is what the like this is what Upland. I've been moaning about the like, the economy and stuff and like kind of like the property side, but like there's so much happening. Uh, the filters are coming. The new skins are like you know the skins you can put on your property now. So if you actually go over here, um, you can actually go into the property. And now when I click on the property, look how cool this skin is now as well. So I've got this one on right now. Uh, really enjoying like just being able to see like kind of these changes and stuff coming to Upland. Like I said, it doesn't have to be a massive change, just little ideas like the skins and other stuff as well. And then you can change these, just go into your avatar again, the edit button, and then go straight down to the bottom. And then you can get a choice of three plus the default one as well. And you'll have these forever as well. So like I'll keep this skin on. Obviously, they might not be on next season because it's a frost skin. But like just having that there, like just kind of like the the way like the community is going right now as well. There's so much kind of positive news and especially like the Granada Hills Discord and stuff. If you want to join that, the link is down below in the description. Uh, 84 members now, like the whole chat, like properties kind of. We've even got the leaderboard for Granada Hills here. Uh, so you can see all the players. I'm going to start adding like Spark, reward Spark trains based on like the property portfolios and uh, loads of different incentives as well. Like kind of like promotions on this YouTube channel. And it'll all be tied into actually this Discord and also the Granada Hills Discord um, node and also just Granada Hills in general. So any players will have properties. The top 10 owners combined have a 1,744 properties, which is 12.3% of Granada Hills. Uh, we're up to 94 members now as well. Uh, so this is going like amazing. And then probably in the next couple of months, we'll own like 25, 30% of Granada Hills. And then that floor is always going to be up. Like, you know, the properties I'm buying now are not going to be sold. If someone's going to drop the floor now, they're going to be like selling their properties for a loss. Um, FSA prop players can obviously make a good return, which I'm very happy. If you're an FSA player and you can like buy a property and then sell it at the floor, I'll buy that floor all day long and I'm going to continue to buy that floor as well. But just remember the more properties you sell at the floor, the longer that floor is going to take to go up. So like try and like get that floor raised, buy a few properties off the secondary market on that floor and then like sell one, you know what I mean? So like the more kind of that floor goes up as well. So we don't want to just chuck loads of properties on now they're selling and like slow that floor down, but we want to like be able to sell our properties as well. But it's a nice balance. Like, you know, you help the community, then the community will help you, you know. So it's all kind of like a good give and take and I believe like this economy, we can actually really get it so strong with Granada Hills and actually uh, the growth. Like Tycoon's really good, but we're making about 8,000 now. That's dropped down from about 15. Uh, so yeah, we can get more nodes and stuff, but like it's not in my control. And I know like the players and stuff, it's not in my control, but with Granada Hills, like we've built the foundation, we've built the factory, uh, we've built the neighborhood as well. So we've even got like the majority of all the... The neighborhood coming together, this is where the cafe is going to go. We've already got the factory, the showroom, some more apartments going up for like future kind of projects where the upland changes like where you need residents and you can like rent your properties out. This is all for an idea based on the factory, the showroom, where the cafe is going to be. So we're thinking like two, three years ahead as well where we're building. I don't talk about a lot of stuff on the video, so it's like why aren't you building on the racetrack? And there's like an idea for everything, but like some of it I'm not speaking about. Like Granada Hills, I'm working more on the back end now and I have been for the last couple of weeks. And I hope it's been showing, but like the Granada Hills like kind of the market right now and the growth like i've spent a lot of time on tycoon a lot of time on other places but right now we can 20x our money by just spending that time in granada hills and it's not about like selling everything and like making loads of upex it's about being able to get granada hills up to a good place and the bigger this account gets the more i can just reinvest into granada hills so all the profit just goes back into properties this net worth sitting in granada hills so all this money basically half of this money is in granada hills so anything what comes through now in the bank just goes back into the secondary market uh, getting that floor up and then it gives other players the ability to buy the unminted properties because they're at 100 percent markup so you're buying them at a flat price or buy for dollars at like 30 40 percent markup but i'll buy the 120 markups you know the 115 markups to get that floor up because i've got like more upex in the account and then it helps the other players so the more properties i sell like if i have five times more properties than you i sold five six properties yesterday so you should sell like one property you know what i mean if it's priced right uh so yeah we're just basically trying to push it but think about it the less you try and sell now the more valuable this is going to be in a month's time two months time so the quicker we can push the floor up the more money you'll make for all your properties like i combined it so we've got 462 properties 
with a minute of 5,654,000 UPEX. If we just add like 1,000 UPEX to each property, that's added 462,000 UPEX worth of value. And then if that sells at the floor, which it should do because there's more people coming on and it has done for the last three, four months, we've seen like really steady growth at the start. So basically put it this way, I've got 45% of my properties in Granada Hills and then 55% in the whole like of LA and like a few in London and other places. 80% of my property sales are in Granada Hills. So like we make like the majority of our money in Granada Hills anyway, we have done for a while. Um, and that's what we plan to do going forward. It's going to be like full of entertainment as well. So it's not like, it's going to be like Sweden, you know, we're building walls and we're going to like stay in our own economy over here. Like these walls are going to protect the economy and these walls are going to protect us and like investors and everything. Like this is going to be an investment hub. This is going to be where we do a lot of challenges and stuff. I believe Upland's an investment game. We're not going to change that at all. Everyone that's got into the game is coming to the game because you can make a profit on your yield and your properties. Not for a second is it not an investment game. Like, you know, you can do a lot of stuff. It's a game, yes, like, but it is an investment game. Uh, not going to stress that enough. You can make a lot of money. You can make a lot of growth on the game as well. And that's where the, like, the game will grow. That's where the players come in as well. They want to see a return. They want to see spark. They want to see structures. They want to see sales. And that's what Granada Hills is going to bring to every single player in this game as well. So, and I'll back it with every single thing I can. Every single dollar, every single upex, I can actually keep that floor up. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna keep looking at the back end as well and then we'll try and bring more figures onto this youtube channel how many properties have been minted and other stuff uh, lots of different stuff on upx land because if i actually go over here and then we go to granada hills this is absolutely madness so if we actually look at all the transactions and stuff uh, once it loads up we can actually go over and i'll just show you this quickly so now we're down to 2217 unminted properties you can see here this is not like updated yet so this should be a little bit higher but just going by this so basically from february the 5th the 5th of february to the 12th of february there's been 2593 transactions 803 minted properties but via the secondary market 1443 i think this is like this minted number can't be right but this is what i want to get at is this like the whole time but it can't be because and then accepted offers 80, 267 swaps, and then spent on minting 76,340,000, and then spent on secondary market 31 million, and then spent on offers just over 3 million. And then you can see here, so it's different as well between the 29th, and that's January. So, like, we couldn't have minted, so we've not minted 1,200 properties in two weeks. So that's what. I, I think that's the unminted is like how many properties have been minted no because that's going up 456 minted 421 minted and 803 minted but we've only gone down like 200 minted properties in the last we're still selling a lot we're minting about six seven properties a day but i don't think we're minting we've not minted 803 so yeah, let me know how this actually works with the figures and that. But yeah, we're definitely seeing the bigger market and the growth and stuff. And yeah, these numbers just seem like massive compared to normal. But you can see the actual growth, the numbers are going up. But yeah, I believe the transactions and everything. But maybe the minted is how many... It's not just minted, it's if they've been bought in the secondary market and there was minted profits to start with. Nah, but they're all minted profits to start with. Unminted. Yeah, let me know if you know how this data works as well, because I'd love to track this and see how everything's going, because, yeah, six properties sold in the last 24 hours in Granada Hills as well, so uh, you can just see the growth in the market going up as well, so really looking forward to uh, pushing this to the next level. We're basically earning about fifteen to 20,000 UPEX a day right now, so bringing in about five hundred to 600,000 a month without referrals and stuff, so, and that's without sponsors as well, so we're going to try and get more sponsors as well. Any sponsors on these videos, we'll just go straight back to Granada Hills, at 10,000 UPEX you can send over to James UK and then we'll push this up as high as we can start buying more properties and see how other players are actually doing in the neighborhood as well if you want to join the discord the link's down below in the description you can jump onto that see all the good fun stuff what's happening really enjoying what Upland's doing with the game now and just got that kind of 
second buzz at second wind as well and like with the property growth the more properties you own the more kind of you're invested into granada hills the more it'll benefit your account as well so the more you push the more you'll actually return as well so i'm going to set this up behind the scenes so everybody can win even small players coming in will see the benefit of the floor rising as well as long as they get in before that floor goes up as well so quicker you get in the more you can actually see in growth and returns as well granada hills is at eleven thousand nearly right now a lot of other nodes are higher up so there's not going to be much growth going forward unless they do something like where cells are doing you know everything's possible maybe someone jumps on and like really pushes another node but right now this node is at basically like right at the bottom to where it can be and this is just basically we've got the whole time to grow now so everybody what's in we're at the bottom of the actual investment just waiting for it to go up as well so uh, yeah looking forward to that and then once we get enough properties market the floors where we really want it to be a really strong floor i'll start taking lots of properties off the secondary market as well creating more demand for the players and all the subscribers and all the people what are in the discord so uh, yeah looking forward to that click that subscribe button if you're not already really trying to push we're at 620 subscribers now we're nearly at 4,000 watch hours as well some of the last videos last week are just killing it on the watch hours so i really do appreciate that guys uh really actually growing this channel now so let's try and push for a thousand subscribers uh really going to give that spark as well we're going to give a one spark away to granada hills residents as well and we'll do more updates competitions for people who are subscribed to this youtube channel so yeah thank you so much for all the support guys i'll see you tomorrow for another video metaverse melon peace